debris, motorcars, and everything you can imagine was falling on us. I wasn't afraid to die, but I couldn't allow my parents to die in front of me. I grabbed onto both of them and my fear was generating such strength that they felt like toddlers in my arms. I shouted, come on, come on, we can survive this together. the absolute chaos and devastation. I was everywhere. We were surrounded. The water rose and our heads were almost up to the ceiling. I was suddenly overcome with fear and exhaustion. I'm Hugh Jones, I play for uh, DHL Western Province. Uh, just listened to Dean Muranik's talk. Um, uh, really inspirational and a lot of lessons to come out of it as well that you can apply in, in all areas of life. And... I can recall sitting on the balcony that night, looking down at the hundreds of cars stacked on top of each other, thinking to myself, where were Morris and Dolores? Surely they would have come back by now. So guys, Instead of waiting for a catastrophe or a tragedy to take place, we need to push through in our everyday lives so that we can create a new beginning. Nothing in this life is insurmountable. Nothing. I am so fortunate to be alive. Who would think that after a world catastrophe where over 300,000 people lost their lives, that I would be so fortunate to be sitting here today telling you my story. Here, and I just got back from seeing D Dean Murnick do his talk, and I can say that I am now so inspired. Hey, Dean, we wanted to thank you for coming out and speaking at our 2017 kickoff for AFLAC. Inspirational, really gave our team something great to think about and take with them through their business. And uh, nobody better to motivate the team than Dean Muranik. Thank you so much for sharing your story and inspiration with us. We appreciate it. Whether you're in the tsunami or your everyday life, guys, we can't give up. What it's taught me is that I was practicing victim mentality. Instead, I should have been focusing on all the abundance that I had been blessed with. But what I really feel from the bottom of my heart is to be there for people in their down times. There are so many things that you can do, and I can't, and vice versa. But how can we lend to somebody else's life? Thank you, guys. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey everybody, it's Kevin Soria, uh, Market Director for Idaho South, Oregon East, Montana, Wyoming with AFLAC. And our keynote speaker, Dean Muranik, just floored, floored our audience tonight. We probably had 200 people here, and most of them were telling us that it was, it was one of the most moving and the best speaker they've ever had at an AFLAC kickoff. So thank you, Dean. Appreciate you, man. Thank you.